What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about something a little more serious, a little sobering if I'm to be honest. Um, but it's something that we should all be aware of. We should all take heed and try to do something about it. Today, let's talk about five of the most critically endangered, possibly even already extinct, sharks in the world. So let's go. Hmm? Critter Hunter. So I have a giant list of critically endangered, and I don't mean threatened or possibly going to be threatened like a whale shark or something that's just vulnerable. I'm talking about sharks that there's only a few left in the world or maybe even they're gone. So I want to bring a little bit of attention to these guys and maybe maybe somebody will get interested in helping conserve these guys. So let's do that. Number five. So number five on the list I have the Pondicherry Shark. The Pondicherry Shark is a species of Requiem Shark. And I put it on the list because it's actually not clear whether this guy is just super threatened and hiding really well, or it's already extinct. Supposedly, there hasn't been a confirmed sighting since 1979, which is scary. So since nobody's actually seen this one in many years, uh, I don't have a whole lot of video for this or f f uh, even a photo and there's very little known that I could tell you but I will say that in history the Pondicherry's range uh, was between the Gulf of Oman all the way to Papua New Guinea which is a huge range but unfortunately for them that range is like murder's row for sharks so you know, even if they are still around, they're still a target, just as any profitable species is. So let's hope this guy is still around. And if you guys have more information about this or some footage or something, let me know. Hopefully there's somebody out there studying these guys. Number four. So number four on this list is the Ganges River Shark. So this is another unfortunate sh species that just happens to be in a really bad area where there's no fishing regulations and it is only found in the Ganges and the Brahma Putra River in India and the Bengal Bay which is super unfortunate it is a highly unregulated fishing area highly overpopulated and the most polluted river in the world so this shark has very little chance of survival so this shark is sometimes mistaken for the bull shark, which can go upstream into the rivers. But unlike the bull shark, the Gange shark is a true river shark and only stays in the freshwater rivers, which is probably not helping its existence. I mean, the whole Ganges can be crisscrossed with fish nets and fishers and over overfishing. Um, so this fact makes it pretty, pretty threatened. So there's just almost no hope for this guy. There is a huge ban on catching and killing these river sharks, but it, a recent survey showed that there's almost zero uh, enforcement. And a recent survey of the whole river trying to find these guys, they did a 10 year survey and they only found a few sharks. So it is highly critically endangered uh, just like the Ganges River Dolphin. Both of those guys are probably going to go extinct in our lifetime. Unless somebody watching this video goes out and does something awesome. You get a Nobel Prize maybe. Who knows? Number three. So for number three, I have another river shark. Another species of requiem shark. And it's called the Papua New Guinea or the Northern River Shark. The Northern River Shark was only discovered in 1986 and since then they only found 36 species but they also discovered a few more in Papua New Guinea. I mean that is the same area so I guess why not and it is I don't know maybe there's something about freshwater river sharks that you know makes them pretty uh, susceptible to extinction I don't know. So although this one is listed as critically endangered, uh, there might be a little bit more hope for this guy compared to the other ones on this list. 
One, because there's super good regulations or tight regulations in Australia about killing river sharks. And the ones that are in Papua New Guinea are just so remote and, and hard to find that maybe they're doing okay. So maybe they're just in super tiny numbers, but a little less susceptible to full on extinction uh, compared to the other sharks that I just mentioned. So maybe there's hope. Number two. So number two is the Irrawaddy River Shark. Yeah, I know, another river shark. What's going on? Sadly, I think I'm too late to save this shark. Scientists and biologists didn't even know it existed until a single specimen was caught at the mouth of the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar in the 19th century. For the longest time, scientists even thought it was a deformed species of bull shark. But then in 2005, Leonard Campagno uh, recognized it as its own species of genus Glyphus. So there's only been one ever found. Just like the river sharks in India, the overfishing, the gill nets, the, uh, they even do electric fishing, electro just kills everything in the water. Uh, just, just like in, in India, it's a problem in Myanmar. And since they've only found one in history and it was dead, they think it's probably gone, even though it hasn't been listed as extinct. Some reason they have it listed as critically endangered. So I would really love it if somebody could give me more information and maybe there's somebody new studying these guys or discovering one or anything. I know Myanmar is opening up more to the world and to study. So I would love to find more information on this if you guys have any. Number one. And number one is the Natal Shy Shark. This guy is found near Natal in South Africa, and it has been listed as critically endangered by the International Union of Conservation of Nature. And its entire habitat is thought to only be about 40 square miles in the KwaZulu-Natal area of South Africa. So this guy is really critically endangered, and even though it's probably getting some protection now, I don't know if it's enough time and if we could save this entire species, but hopefully there's biologists and people down there trying to preserve these guys. And on a side note, these guys are called the shy shark because when threatened, they'll circle into a little ball on the sand and cover their eyes with their tail. <laughs> so I guess that's a little cute. Uh, their local nickname is the happy chappy. <laughs> So this is a cool shark. We should definitely be saving this species. And I hope there are people out there actively trying to do so. So there you have it guys. These are five critically endangered sharks, possibly even extinct. And I'm not even talking about the threatened sharks or ones that could be threatened or critically endangered in the future. I'm talking about ones that are this close to never being seen again. Um, and just, I have a whole list of these guys on my website. So let me give a few more like shout outs, even though I usually do top videos, top five videos. Here's a few more that are just as badly endangered. Like the dagger nose shark, the striped smooth mouth hound shark, and a sawback angel shark, which we've, we've seen videos of those, videos of those in, uh, Portugal. The smoothback angel shark. I think I saw one of those in an uh, aquarium once, maybe in Bru uh, Bru uh, Dubai. <laughs> so that's just a few that I know about. If you guys know of more critically endangered sharks, let me know. We need to bring these guys as much exposure as possible. Get people interested in their conservation. Get people educated about why we need these sharks and why it's not cool for us humans to be responsible for so many extinctions. So there you have it, you guys. Make sure to subscribe. I'll bring you more videos like this every few days, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Yeah. Subscribe.